Let's move on to our third main topic today. Chris, what is main topic number three? This topic comes from Will Stutz. Did you see that during his Variety interview, Robert Pattinson said something about Joaquin Phoenix before ac asking to retract it, saying, I definitely should not say that. He also added that he was not accustomed to thinking about spoilers. Do you think it's possible but there is a connection and Phoenix could be Reeves' Joker? Things that make you go, hmm, what do you think? <laughs> yeah, so anyway, I like a lot of you guys last night, I started seeing uh, uh, in my news feeds and stuff like that, some headlines suggesting and, and questioning if we're going to see this Joker thing cross over as a result of Robert Pattinson's comments. So I went to check out the comments. Now, it was just quoted a bit in the in the email there, but let's actually go and see what was said. This is from the Variety article. Uh, Pattinson won't say whether he's committed to additional Batman movies. I don't know anything, he says. I've got an idea about how to do four scenes, and then I'm working the rest out gradually. At one point in our conversation, he offers a mundane comment about Joaquin Phoenix before asking to retract it. Oh shit, he says, adding that he's not accustomed to thinking about spoilers. I definitely should not say that. I'm so used to uh, pretty art house movies where you can watch the movie about three times and still not know what it's about, which I think is a great way for him to sum up his career over the last few years. I think that's awesome. So in this statement, he says Joaquin Phoenix and he's talking about his Batman thing. From this, people have been extrapolating and, and wondering, is that, did he just basically drop a hint? Like, oh, what could he have said about Joaquin Phoenix that he asked to be retracted? Okay, I, I, I get it. But I think the law of the most obvious and simple answer 99% of the time is it. He probably knows something about the Joker movie, mentioned something, said, oh, I shouldn't say that, and, and had to retract it. I look, I, I can only speak for myself because I'm not going to say anybody who thinks that this statement is pointing towards Warner Brother plans to have a, you know, Robert Pattinson, Batman and Joaquin Phoenix Joseph cross over in the future. I'm not going to say that you're completely out of your mind. Be, be, OK, because there's some crumbs here. I, there are some crumbs here. Where I could see that. But I think the most obvious answer though is he was probably referring to something he knows about the joker movie and decided to have that pulled back i don't see anything else here to support the notion that we're looking at a star pulling a tom holland and accidentally dropping information about the future plans look we already know there's a whole ton of things that work against us number one rob rob Pattinson hasn't even said if he signed up for more than one movie which warner brothers probably wouldn't have signed him if it wasn't for more than one movie on top of that we know joaquin phoenix does not like doing sequels that's that's the main reason he walked away from doctor strange he was totally intrigued by the doctor strange role walked away from it because of that but we as film fans, and I'm including me in this, all right? I'm including you in this. I'm including me in this. We as film fans tend to see the slightest 99th degree removed possible factoid that could connect to something else. And we start forming. I remember, guys, I remember um, back when some of the first images of Thanos came out for Avengers Infinity War. I, re I remember because it was like dominating everything for like two straight days. There appears on one side of Thanos' face three scars, right? Three scars. The internet went nuts. Confirmation! Wolverine is in the next Avengers movie. <laughs> it's clear. They're practically telling us and everybody freaked out about it. It's absolutely Wolverine. Right now, we've got a thing where in Avengers Endgame, Okoye mentions to, um, to Black Widow, uh yeah we had uh like an underwater earthquake and and you know black widow's like well, what Name are we doing more. yeah what are we looking are we looking into that she goes it's an underwater earthquake it's there's nothing to look into that's it right but they she said water namor lives in water confirmed namor is going to be the villain of black panther too and i'm not saying it's impossible but i'm just saying like that's what we and i have been guilty of this and you have been guilty of this that is kind of a little thing we, we do here. And I think that's what's happening a little bit here is that we've got we've got uh, Robert Pattinson saying, Joe, saying Joaquin Phoenix talking about the Joker thing 
uh, retract something and instantly everyone's thinking he must be hiding the fact that Batman and Joker are going to cross over and they're going to be in the same universe despite the fact that they have insisted this Joker is an isolated standalone in his own universe film despite the fact of everything we know about Joaquin Phoenix we still jump there again I'm not going to call anybody crazy if they're going to think there's something there to that because there are crumbs there are crumbs there so I'm not going to say you're crazy but personally I don't I don't see anything here I think there's a little bit of smoke, but that smoke was from somebody lighting a cigarette, not a forest fire. And I, I really don't see anything else there. Anyway, Aaron, you heard these comments. You know, you've been involved with shows that had a lot of people always speculating and trying to develop theories and things like that. Could there be something here or is this really much ado about nothing at this point? You know... I once heard that, um, I don't remember what the colloquialism was, but the, similar to where there's smoke, there's fire, that there's a little bit of truth in every Hollywood, uh, in, 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 in every Hollywood rumor. Um, but one thing that sticks out to me is that the comment was that Pattinson said something mundane about right. Joaquin mm -hmm. Phoenix. It didn't say he slipped about something involving the Joker. He slipped about something involving the script in Joaquin Phoenix. He says something mundane about Joaquin Phoenix. And then he says retracted. I'm not used to spoilers, blah, blah, blah. And I think Robert Pattinson also may have been going on another tangent of spoilers in general. Like I'm learning in this new genre that I have to really be careful about anything that I say because it, because of situations like this, it can be taken completely out of context and people can just start spinning their own tails. I think that him saying the word spoiler actually lit more fires than whatever the mundane thing about Joaquin Phoenix was that he said. Right. Um, I also agree with you, you know, be, not only because Joaquin Phoenix is not known for spoil, uh, uh, excuse me, for sequels, but also there's no way that Joaquin Phoenix is going to be involved in a, a crossover without seeing the full film first. Like mm. he's he's gonna want to he's gonna want to see what this film does. Um, he's gonna want to be integrally integ integral. Um. I'm having a Trump moment. Integrally, <laughs> I can't say the word. Forget about it. He's going to want to be very involved um, with, uh, with 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 developing his character as it pertains to any potential overlap in another project. Chris, you're hearing about this. Do you think there could be anything to it? No, I'm going like you guys, Occam's Razor here. I, I'm going to go with the least speculation. And furthermore, we know that the Joker in his film is dealing with Bruce's grandfather who's running for mayor. No, so, I, think this is, I think it's his father. I thought it was his it's grandfather. Thomas Wayne. It's, it's Thomas Wayne? Yes. Okay, yeah. I read something where it said grandfather. Either way, that seems like a sizable age gap to be taking <laughs> on a Joker. I mean, where's, where's the threat in that? I just don't think it's going to happen. Unless I, we meet Baby Joker. There we go. Like they do one of those things that they did with Sam Jackson and they take like Joaquin Phoenix from his first movie and somehow like a young Joaquin Phoenix walks he next shows to... shows up. Yeah, like somehow there's a... I don't know. Or they're I, like, Joker's just a mantle. Someone else will take on my yeah. mask. Which is what man, Gotham kind of did yeah. in, in a really terrible way. I think the most interesting thing and I think the most poignant thing that you brought up there, Aaron, was the fact that... It almost feels like the writer for the Variety article knew they had to specifically say, they, they knew they couldn't just say, he said something about Joaquin Phoenix, which he then asked for me to retract. He's Because it seems to me like they knew, if I just say that, people are going to speculate that it's something bigger than it is. Mm -hmm. So it's like he purposefully put in the word a mundane thing about Joaquin Phoenix. Like, nothing big. If if he had said, if Rob Pattinson had said, yeah, this, and I tried on the Batman suit, and man, I'm really looking forward to doing that crossover movie with Joaquin Phoenix. Oops, can you take that out? Yeah. He wouldn't have then said, he said something mundane about Joaquin right. Phoenix. I, I yeah. think that's probably a big single word. I mean, it's only one word, but I think it's a big, big piece of that puzzle that we got to keep in mind. Question mm -hmm. here, though, guys, is look, there are a lot of people out there right now who thinks there's some legitimacy to this uh, about maybe there being some kind of crossover. So much so that I decided to make that the topic of today's question of the day, where I got on Twitter and put it to you guys. You can guys can go over to my Twitter. You can just follow me on Twitter simply at John Campia. Go on over there, and I put up the question. Guys, do you think Robert Pattinson's comments legitimately indicate that his Batman will cross over with Joaquin Phoenix Joker? And right now, kind of overwhelmingly, but not as overwhelmingly as you might think, 
78% of you are saying, no, they are not connected, but a full 22% of you out of like the 1200 of you guys that have uh, cast votes so far, I put this up just before we started the show are saying, yes, they're going to cross these things over. So that represents a significant amount of people. Question is, what do you guys think about that? Do you think there's anything to it? Do you think there's nothing to it whatsoever? Jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. All right.